नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर् चानल आयुर्वेद थ्री सिक्सटी सो बी एम एस स्टूडेंट्स ऐस सून एज द एंटर इन टू द कोर्स विल हैव अ न्यू टास्क ऑफ लर्निंग सैंसक्रिट श्लोक बै हार्ट सर्टन ऑफ दम एंड अदर श्लोक ऑफ कोर्स फॉर दि अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पज नाउ द इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू रिगार्डिंग लर्निंग और मेमोरइजिंग श्लोक इज द टेक्निक वॉट द स्टूडेंट्स फॉलो इफ द टेक्निक इज such that only short time memory is possible then there is no no use of spending so much of time because if there is no memory later then there is no purpose of learning a shloka in this video we are going to have a brief look into certain of the methodologies that have been adopted that can be adopted to have a long term memory for the learning of or you can say memorization of shloka and to bring it out at the right time during the application this video can be specifically mentioned for induction as a part of induction program for freshers because it is entirely new for them and even it is definitely beneficial for any of the ayurveda scholar who is finding it difficult to memorize the shloka for long term basis so kindly watch this video and even give your observations or experiences in the comment section at the end so the induction program is already we have already covered certain sessions so this could be a part of that as well as even for the other students a long term memory is very much essential because whatever is time you spend in learning anything should be helpful for you in the future if not other if not you are wasting your valuable time or against the precious time of your lifetime now this video gives you clue regarding how to memorize the shloka till for a long term memory you are usually confused regarding the you can say time duration especially if you have given first year exam second year exam and then viva maybe after 6 months if you try to recollect the shloka you will not be able to recollect which you have earlier very well you can say recited in front of even the teachers now the reason is simple because the memorization technique is only for short term basis so what is the long term basis the answer is also hidden in the charak samhita so charak says there are eight different methodologies of having this smriti so smriti is to recollect anything whatever has been you can see whatever is there in your mind so on the basis of the same shloka we are going to see how a student can apply this in real life in memorizing a shloka the eight of those categories are you can see in the shloka the first one being nimitta grahana so nimitta grahana is one of the important cause for long term memory so nimitta grahana means as soon as you see a karana you will analyze about the karya in the sense if you see something for example as you can see here if you see the rain happening along with sunlight already also being there you will be guessing regarding the presence of rainbow in the short duration of time now seeing the cloud i mean the rain along with the uh, along with the sunlight you memorized about the rainbow now the same thing apply it in the format of shloka as soon as you see some procedure or any of the uh, ayurveda related uh, therapies you have to remember it or you try to recollect the shloka at that particular point of time it is the best way of getting the shloka at the exact time of its application for example you can see here a person being uh, subjected to shiro abhyanga like putting hair on the oil now once the once you see any of the patient or your own you can say relatives doing this procedure immediately you have to recite the shloka of shiro abhyanga guna what are the benefits of shiro abhyanga so if you are getting the answer if you are getting the shloka again and again because every day one or the other person will be having this kind of procedure so if you recollect every day once at also within a week or within 10 days you will be a master in that particular shloka so this point what i'm making here is at the right point of time you have to recite the shloka initially you may find it difficult or you may not get the words go back and refer the shloka next day during the same procedure of different patient recite the same you may miss one word this time next time you may not miss the word and then it goes on the process the long term memory will be you can say achieved so this is one example nimitta grahana by seeing the karana you are analyzing the karya so another of the example for the same you see some of your friends relatives being very much lazy not able to do even slightest of the hard work sedentary lifestyle you expect them to have a disease like prameya in the near future so as soon as you see this kind of people 
just recite the nidana of that particular disease asya asya sukham swapna sukham dadini so that shloka if you recite three or four times whenever you see such kind of patients or your own relatives friends or yourself then definitely as i told within a few days you will get that imprinted on your mind now as someone drinking the buttermilk in the afternoon along with the lunch so as soon as you see that you can just recollect its look in your mind or you can even recite in front of the friends if you are having any bms friend so that is the best way of getting the right shloka at the right time it serves two purpose here one is the memory at the same time or it application a part of every shloka so this is in relation to nimitta grahanat now we'll go to the second part rupa grahanat so what is rupa grahana raha grahan is as soon as you see certain thing akara grahana as you see as soon as you see a certain structure you remember the similar structure whatever whatever is there in your mind already in your mind for example you can see here uh, as soon as you see uh, you can say forest uh, animal which is looking like a cow you remember about the cow in your house so this is in relation to the general example apply it in the shloka format now as soon as you see a patient who is having the cough along with the breath, breathlessness so breathlessness is the main feature along with that is having certain other associated complaint so just recollect in your mind the commonest cause i mean the disease what we expect in these days are tamakashwasa for these kind of symptoms so just in your mind or in front of the patient recite those words in the shloka or recite the entire two lines or six lines four lines whatever shloka so that you can recollect it at the right time so this is in relation to in front of the patient being in front of the patient second example another patient having joint pain along with the swelling so recite the shloka as soon as you see the patient as soon as you examine the patient vata purna dutti sparsha so in that way as soon as you get the shloka in your mind when you see this patient it means your memory is getting longer and longer so that is the main point what i am trying to make when you see a particular feature in front of you recite the feature as it is so that it remains in the mind for longer time similarly even for other diseases it could be the surgical or it could be the ent related any eye disease with you can say in, for an example i have shown here with some projections over the scleral region so a disease could be arma and recite the shloka of arma if you are a scholar of shalakya tantra or if you are studying in final year bms so this is how every day you recite recollect and then apply the shloka in front of the actual lifetime experience and that is the actual purpose of learning shloka and also long term memory will be developed simultaneously next of the point is sadrushyat so similar thing so in the previous case it was as soon as, soon as you see a thing you re- recite the same shloka now it is as soon as you see a shloka or as soon as you come across a situation similar shloka related to that in- incident can be recited so in this example the father and the son look similar so similarly i take an example a patient who is suffering from breathlessness i have already told you it could be tamakashwasa now in your mind think which are the other diseases where breathlessness could be possible so one of the cause could be tamakashwasa other could be kasa other could be even uh, it could be hikka other it could be other pandu any other disease now recite the shloka of other diseases whatever comes in your mind so differential di- uh, diagnosis purpose so at the same time you are able to recollect 3 to 4 shloka and also apply it at the same time similarly when you see shloka related to any of the formulation for example there is a famous formulation called tribhuvana kirti and ananda bhairav rasa if you see the initial line of both of them according to some different authors it looks same whichever is used in the routine classes or practical purpose so it looks same the first line almost looks same there there are changes in the coming lines so whenever you see a shloka and if there is any other shloka similar to that line recollect that at the particular time so that both of them can be learned or recollected for longer time so you see a patient who is having uh, the pro uh, puro rupa of disease like kushta and vatrakta so for example a patient of uh, any patient coming to you with sweating intense sweating or less sweating if he is having dryness over the skin region if there is any uh, discoloration of the skin so pro- possibly disease could be kushta or it could be vatrakta so if it is in puro rupa avastha just recollect the kushta and vatrakta shloka at the same time now the vatrakta kushta purvarupa looks similar sadrishya that's why when you recollect them together you are remembering both of them at the same time recollecting as well as memorizing memorizing for longer duration now the fourth one viparyayat so viparyay means 
so you see something and you remember the opposite of that so it is just opposite to that of sadrishyat so my example given here is by seeing something which is extremely uh, not so good looking you remember about something good looking i have given the example of here an uh, tomato so you can see the you can remember about some good tomatoes by seeing this kind of images now apply it in the shloka so vipari as soon as you see a patient of uh, uh, patient having discoloration in the eye region scleral region so you can see here aridra varnata so uh, recollect this shloka where the normal eye color is mentioned if it is learnt so that is what i want to tell in patients what is the same shloka you are recollecting at the same time what could be the opposite if not having the disease what could be the normal lakshana that also can be learned by heart or you can say recollected now another example as soon as you send a patient for panchakarma especially the vamana procedure so during vamana you expect the patient to have samyak lakshana like vamana should be properly carried out but at the same time it could also occur that the vamana can lead to ati yoga like excessive kind of vamana there could be some complications so at the same time of remembering samyak lakshana even recollect the ati yoga lakshana which could be opposite of that so this is how you recollect the shloka which may not be occurring at that time but still again and again getting it in your mind makes it more longer in your mind now another example uh, you are making gritam that is ayurveda gritam so you have samyak samyak lakshana of attaining the complete grita formation so at the same time remember if grita at- attains the ati dagda avastha then what could be the possible symptoms like if it is not properly formed what could be the features so that is how samyak as well as the dagda lakshana can be learnt in your you can say recited and recollected for longer time so the next one is called as the sattva anubandha sattva means your mind here anubandha anubandha means when it touches your mind touches your heart touches your soul then you don't uh, forget anything so if you are learning anything which with intense concentration if you like a topic you learn it with concentration you don't forget that if you don't like it then definitely you read but you forget so the simple quotation or equation here is make the subject interesting for you so that you learn with concentration and it reaches directly your the sattva so that is how you can get into long term memory abhyasa so this there is no substitute for abhyasa so satat kriya shilanam repeating again and again so if you are learning a five shloka this morning every day for next 7 days this five shloka should be coming again and again so abhyasat every day even two times three times the more you revise the more longer it gets in your memory so abhyasa is of course you also agree everybody agrees that because student life itself is based on this abhyasa whoever has done regular abhyasa has succeeded now gnana yoga this is one important part gnana yoga means if you understand the concept you don't forget it so this is related to Uh, learning by heart or learning by understanding so usually the understanding part will remain in your mind for long time everybody agrees there is no argument about that similarly in a shloka if you learn it properly by splitting it and then analyzing each word analyzing each word analyzing each word the meaning along with vibhakti what could be the linga why that particular sandhi has come there which is the sandhi all those things if you analyze a shloka by proper splitting and giving due time to each of them and if you analyze the proper uh, you can say meaning then definitely it is the uh, easiest way of memorizing a shloka and even you enjoy the process so gnana yoga understanding is important without understanding if you learn by heart will not remain in your mind for longer duration this is one of the most common mistake usually student does know the shloka but without understanding it or without having the application part which means it is a waste of time even if you learn half an hour and then recite in front of somebody it doesn't make any sense if you don't know what it basically means so punah shruta this is one of the ultimate uh, you can say uh, the uh, process which makes you to have long term memory listening to the something again and again abhyasa means practicing it practicing could be chanting or it could be uh, re- directly applying it in real life other things but here again and listening again and again listening maybe you can record and then listen to the same audio recording again and again you are doing some other work at the same time you can listen to this so in that way again and again listening to the same thing makes you have a long term memory so that is punah shrutat so ultimately the shloka what i have taken from charaka itself is sufficient to have the exact methodology of learning a shloka now what you can take from these points are initially you need to have a shloka book where you will note down each and every shloka whatever you plan to learn intend to learn 
you can even have a small board or white board in your room where you'll write it down at least five shloka for one week so what happens here is you have the book you have the written material on the wall on the board so again and again you are seeing that again and again you are revising that and you can record in your mobile and then listen to that there are some videos with audio recordings of shloka in our channel you can listen to that so multiple ways you can get involved in a particular shloka in one week if you revise this for 10 to 15 times more than sufficient to remember it for a longer time duration so that is the major part of this entire uh, you can say the video understanding is the most important part not just learning by heart so understanding is the important one sometimes even more than understanding the or reciting the shloka because if you understand even you can recollect the certain words whichever you missed in the shloka this is common uh, notion among students that i miss one word i miss the initial word i miss the last word i miss the central word so what happens is you have not learned it by understanding each and every word that's why you don't recollect so if you learn it by understanding each and every word even you can recollect the lost word by knowing the meaning so that is one important uh, aspect so and routine life application wherever possible it could be your home it could be your classroom it could be your the practical hall it could be the patient in front of patient it could be in front of the therapy it could be while prescribing any any situation wherever it is possible try to apply it as much as possible maybe while preparing a medicine in a laboratory you can recite the shloka of the same medicine until the end of that medicine you will know the shloka in your mind so that is how you can make the maximum utilization of the uh, learned shloka now these things require dedication and it cannot occur just by you can say casual approach just for exam sake you, this cannot be achieved it's a dedicated work so until here we have seen the entire techniques and nothing more than this is necessary this is more than sufficient at the same time the shloka what we have seen in charak samhita that also can be learnt in the same way drushta shrutta anubhuta na smarana smruti ruchyati drushta seen shruta heard anubhuta na experience so these are the three methodologies how was smruti works so see again and again hear again and again experience again and again or practice again and again so the entire eight steps are focusing on these three aspects so that is how you recollect this shloka in the coming videos even we'll be covering other important aspects especially from uh, fresher and even the other batches so kindly watch our other playlists as well if you like the content kindly like share and subscribe to our channel please advise other of your friends to have a look at the channel and if they like it kindly like them uh, ask them to like as well until next time thank you